said to Christ, what to do with doubt. God desires man to exercise his reasoning powers, and the study of the Bible will strengthen and elevate the mind as no other study can. And yet we ought to beware of deifying reason which is subject to the weakness and infirmity of humanity. If we would not have the scriptures clouded to our understanding so that the plainest truth shall not be comprehended, we must have the simplicity and faith of a little child ready to learn and beseech in the aid of the Holy Spirit. A sense of the power and wisdom of God and of our inability to comprehend His greatness should inspire us with humility and we should open His word as we would enter His presence with holy awe. When we come to the Bible, reason must acknowledge an authority superior to itself and heart and intellect must bow to the great I Am. There are many things apparently difficult or obscure which God will make plain and simple to those who thus seek an understanding of them. But without the guidance of the Holy Spirit, we shall be continually liable to rest the scriptures or to misinterpret them. There is much reading of the Bible that is without profit and in many cases a positive injury. When the Word of God is opened without reverence and without prayer, when the thoughts and affections are not fixed upon God or in harmony with His will, the mind is clouded with doubts and in the very study of the Bible, skepticism strengthens. The enemy takes control of the thoughts and he suggests interpretations that are not correct. Whenever men are not inward, indeed seeking to be in harmony with God, then, however learned they may be, they are liable to err in their understanding of Scripture, and it is not safe to trust to their explanations. Those who look to the Scriptures to find discrepancies have not spiritual insight with distorted vision, they will see many causes for doubt and unbelief in things that are really plain and simple. Step to Christ, page 110.